Two months have now passed since the discovery of the city under the Giza Plateau, and the researchers who are investigating this phenomena seem to be being attacked on a regular basis. And this seems to extend to anyone who believes that there are structures under the Giza Plateau. The Egyptian and international archaeological academia, especially from prominent figures in the media, have rushed to direct rapid criticism. And even senior professors from different disciplines have fallen into the trap of hasty criticism. The technology used to make this discovery has been stereotyped. And contrary to this stereotype by the media, the SAR technology, Synthetic Aperture Radar, this has already been successfully used in other sensitive locations, including the Mosul Dam in Iraq and the Vesuvius Volcano in Italy. Certain segments of the media appear to speculate, at times with remarkable arrogance, about the CAFRE project's SAR technology. And one cannot help but wonder whether a broader agenda lies beneath the surface. Could it be that the potential to redefine the boundaries of humanity's remote past poses a challenge to entrenched academic and institutionalised interests. Consider the following. The president and co-founder of the HIP Institute also serves as vice president for strategy and innovation at Dassault Systems and is the co-director of the Scan Pyramids mission. The Institute is behind the immersive virtual reality experience Horizon of Khufu. This is a project that has reportedly drawn the personal attention of French President Emmanuel Macron. According to various media sources, President Macron has publicly promoted initiatives aimed at attracting international researchers to conduct their work in France and across Europe. Is it merely a coincidence that this institutional support and financial endorsement appears to align so consistently with projects already under the umbrella of French organisations? Meanwhile, independent research initiatives that fall outside of these privileged networks are often met with scepticism, media indifference or outright discreditation. Armando May of the CAFRE project asks, why is this so? Is it simply a matter of scientific standards? Or are we witnessing a more subtle form of cultural gatekeeping around Giza? More pressing, still the question, why continue funding the Scan Pyramids project, now entering its second decade, when, to date, it has yielded no definitive archaeological breakthroughs. At what point does a scientific mission become indistinguishable from a money-consuming machine sustained neither by scientific and archaeological narrative nor by results? Within this context, does it become increasingly difficult to ignore the possibility that certain cultural or ideological circles, perhaps supported by powerful and enduring networks may be actively shaping, if not restricting, the discourse surrounding Giza's archaeological future.